Hello, welcome back. Question number four, Novdek 2024. A point M is 3.2 kilometers from another point Q on a bearing of 60 degrees. And the point R is also 2.4 kilometers on a bearing of 150 from the same point Q. So we have to illustrate the information on the Venn diagram, find the distance between M and R, and the bearing of R of M from what? R. All right, let's begin from this. We are looking for uh, the point M is on the distance of this from another point, meaning we need to locate that point first. Then we take the measurement from that point to get the 60 degrees of the point M. What I mean is that, let's make a sketch. I can have the point Q being here. This is the north of the Q. So I'm going to measure from the north to get 60 degrees to the point what? M. We know from the north to the east is 90 degrees. So definitely if 60 is movement from here, we will left with 30 down. So let me make a sketch of 30. That is going to be, let me extend this move and have this point here as the point what? M. The point M, which is this, is 3.2 kilometers away, meaning 3.2 kilometers from another point Q on a bearing of 60 degrees, meaning this is our 60 degrees. Then R is also on a distance of 2.4 on a bearing of 150 still from Q. So I'm going to start from the north and measure 150 to get to where the R will be. We know this is 90, so I need extra 60. So I need 60, so you can see 60, 30. Then I can put my point here as the point word R. Don't forget, normally we join this point in order to have a triangle. So let's see, in joining this point, good, so we can see that when that point is joined, we are having triangle Q, M, R, right? Making sure that this line is parallel to this line. So the angle here, we have here, will be the angle here. Then whatever angle I have here is the one going to be there. But whatever I have here is going to be 30. What will be here is 60. 60 plus 90. That gave us 150. So I can have my 60 degrees. 30 degrees, and that gives rise to 90 degrees. So this being 90, meaning the triangle is a right angle triangle. So let's come back to the question. We are to illustrate, and this is our illustration. Find the distance MR, the distance MR, which is going to be the hypotenuse here. So what should I do? Let's say we have BI, we are looking for the length of MR. The MR is the hypotenuse here because 90 is facing here. The MR will be equals to the 3.2 all square plus, okay, this is our 2.4 kilometers. So 2.4 square. So from here, let's still have our M, R as a square equals to the square of 3.2 and 3.2 will give us 10.24 plus we are going to have 2.4 square that will also be 5.76. So now we can add the 5.76 to the 10.24 and that will give us 16. So right here I'll be having the M R equals the root of 16 and that will make our 4 
kilometers. So the distance between M and R is going to be four kilometers. We don't have space, so we are only managing the space we have on the board. For the bearing of M from R, meaning you go, this is the M, you come to the north of R and measure to meet the line that joins the two. And you can see if I measure, this is going to be the alpha. Let me just say that's alpha. That angle, that small angle is what we are looking for. The bearing of R, uh, of M from R, you come to the north of R and measure. Now we cannot give value to that angle. So we are going to pick the whole of this angle. We are picking the whole of this angle as angle theta. Whereby we are aware that the angle here is 30. So here will also be 30 degrees. So 30 plus alpha give us the theta. So if I know what the theta is, automatically I can find the angle alpha. Because of space, let's also manage here and have the ii. This angle theta is opposite here, so I'll be having the opposite side, this hypotenuse, this will be the adjacent. I'll be making use of O and A, so A is out, so that will be 2 up. So I'll be having the tan of the angle equals to the opposite side, that will be, let me bring the, the values here. 3.2 adjacent, 2.4, what do we need? We need a theta. So theta will be equals to the tan inverse. Let me indicate the R at this point. Okay. The tan inverse of 3.2 on 2.4. Let's see what that will be on our calculator. Tan inverse of 3.2 divided by 2.4 that will give us 53.13. So this is the angle we have as what? Angle theta. Right? But we are not looking for the angle theta. We are looking for angle alpha. So we can say that the angle or let me just say because of space. Bearing of M from R will be equals to the value we have here is 53.13 minus what? 30 degrees. And that will be giving us 23 degrees to the nearest what? Whole number. So the angle here is 23, 23 plus 30 will give us the 53 if we are to write in the whole number. I know it is not well presented because of the space, but you take your time and follow through, you will understand. Leave your comment in the comment section as we continue to learn together. Bye-bye.